Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I will giving a brief introduction regarding field service and we will be focusing on the field service flow. So this is the field service application. So this is the service area. So click on that. And we have a separate area for sales and where you will see the lead and opportunity quote, order and invoice. And here you have inventory area. So here you have the option to manage warehouse. You can create purchase order and you can deal with the return process. And under the resources area and here you will be able to create a new field agent from your user list and if you have any external vendor to support your field service management. So then you can add a contact as a bookable resource. So field service capabilities enable business to provide on-site service to clients. And when we talk about the field, so it is just an add on to your existing customer service model. And in our existing customer service model, so what will happen? So the customer will call you on customer will send you an email and whenever they face any issue, so they will be calling you and or they will send you email. And based on that email activity or a phone call activity, so you will be creating a case record. Then you will be assigning the case record to a service person. So the service person will be analyzing the case and if he will call the customer again and somehow he will try to resolve the issue. But particular customer service module will not be very helpful. So when we need to go to the customer location directly and if you want to visit customer business location, and if you want to visit customer home location, so then using customer service model and it will be very tedious to do all the things and whenever visit is required on customer location. So at the time you will be converting your case record into the work order record and you will be assigning this work order to one individual and field service agent and he will be visiting the customer location directly. Now we will see the process and field service application. So you can completely manage your field service process and you can store your service location of your customer and you can manage customer assets and you can do the preventive maintenance, work order management, resource management, product inventory, scheduling and dispatch. And you will have the mobile option. So where your service person can use a mobile phone and they can reach the customer location and from the itself so they can update all the details. So using this field service application and you can build your customer also. So whenever you are doing some services for your customer and you need to build your customer. So using this application, you can build your customer and it is having both the sales as well as the service model feature. So this is the standard field service flow. And as you can see, work order plays a vital role in this field service flow. So work order either created manually, so directly create a work order and assign to any bookable resource and that resource will be visit the customer location so that it is one way. And other three option is that you can create a case record into a work order and this will be used on top to customer service model and you can convert your opportunity also into the work order record. Like you are trying to sell something to your customer. So before the customer buys that particular product. So you need to show some demo at the customer location. Then you need to carry that product with you and you need to visit customer location and you need to show the demo of the product and base the customer will buy or customer will not buy. And if the customer buy, then you will be closing the opportunity as one. And if the customer did not buy, then you will be closing the opportunity as lost. Now agreements, we can automatically create a work order on a periodic basis. So once the work order is created, so we need to have something called an incident type and this incident type like a framework and this will contain the details of the product services, services task and characteristic and that are required to complete this work order. Like resolve any issue if the work machine so the service person will flow some certain step. So similarly, if there is an issue in air condition, so where he need to follow some different set of list. So those kind of template will be configured under this incident type. So for any issue in working machine, he need to replace some product. So then that product will be different. 
So each type of issue will be configuring a separate incident type. And once the work order having all the information, then we will be using something called a schedule board or a schedule assistant. So from here, assigning this work order to any bookable resource. So bookable resource is nothing but a field service agent and they will be going on the customer location. So they will be analyzing the issue and fix the issue at the customer location. And using the schedule board, we will be assigning the work order to any bookable resource. And once we assigning the bookable resource to the work order, then automatically booking record will be created. So once the booking record is created, so field service agent will using in mobile application. So once the booking record is created, so this person will receive one notification and saying that a booking is assigned to you and you need to work on that work order. So this service person will open the mobile and he will open a particular booking record. So then he will be start traveling to the customer location and then he will be resolve issue at the customer location. And then it is called a service delivery. And then we will need to review the work order and we need to bill our customer. So in this video, we covered a field service introduction and focusing on the field service flow. Thanks for watching.